There's a little over two weeks to go now before the Commissioner's election. And we've all had an opportunity to describe what wonderful people that we are. And it's absolutely true that I think any of the candidates is perfectly capable of becoming County Commissioner. So the elephant that's in the room is that none of us have yet told you what it is that we would do if we were County Commissioners. And so I want to take just a few minutes to outline what I think the next four years uh, ought to look like from the County Commissioner's Office. There are some things that need to be done in the way the county is managed internally and there are some issues I think about the county in general. Let's start with how the county is run. Every year our wage bill goes up 5% automatically and I think we need to start a meaningful dialogue with the county's employees as to how we can try to make sure that in return for those increases we get increases in productivity and effort which are not required in the way the contract is currently written. You can't make those kind of changes overnight and it probably will take the whole of the life of the current contract to start to create a mindset that will enable us to work together towards uh, a better balance between reward and effort in a way to try and reduce as far as we can the ever increasing burden uh, on salaries and pensions and health care that every taxpayer bears. There's also a question I think of the use that the county makes of the technology that's available to us Again, there have been lots of improvements uh, in the way the county manages its technology, but not as yet any benefits flowing to the rest of us in terms of making information that is now managed uh, a, in an electronic form available to uh, people at large. The courthouse online, if you like is something that appears to not yet have um, entered into the consciousness of the county management. There's also a question of management style. I was, before I came here, um, schooled in the disciplines of a major manufacturing industry. And uh, without saying it's a man's life in the Ford Motor Company, it is nonetheless true that that corporation ran on very, very strict disciplines in terms of timing, quality of analysis, deadlines, and asking the right types of management questions. The county is very good at asking. Ah, Harley Davidson strikes again. The county is very good at asking how much things cost. It's less good at the rest of that discipline which is asking for what cost, what benefit do we get, what alternatives are there, and you, the killer question uh, from industry is what is the effect of doing nothing? All of those questions need to be asked to underpin the management decisions that the county takes. In terms of its personnel management, how do I say this? There seems to be a management style that runs on, I wouldn't say fear, but we have seen in the past some rather drastic and badly handled personnel changes that create an atmosphere of caution where uh, county commissioners, I think, are exposed only to that information that is safe for them to know. We can't run an organisation like that. You have to run an organisation on the basis that everybody is free uh, to make all the information that may be pertinent to, to a decision available to the people taking it. In terms of what happens outside um, the garden building, 
there are a number of issues that face us. The first and most obvious one is that we have to make an attempt to make representations to Harrisburg um, on how the, the benefits of Marcellus shale development should extend not only to the companies doing the development, but to the people who live in the area where those developments are taking place. Um, where the rubber meets the road, issues I think look a little different from the way that they look in Harrisburg. I think the governor at one time said he wanted Pennsylvania to be the Texas of natural gas. The only problem with that is that Texas already is the Texas of natural gas. Um, and we need to create a, 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 a way of sharing the economic benefits that's appropriate to Pennsylvanians. Uh, I think I've said elsewhere that I'm opposed to the notion of a simple impact fee. Uh, we need to look more broadly at how the wealth in Marcellus Shale development is created and how it is best shared. And my view is that a severance tax would do that far better than an impact fee, which seems to me to be simply wasting the, the, the resources that would be available to us. That's not a decision that the county can take on its own. Uh, but I do think that county commissioners are in a position to be able to make very vigorous representations to the people who represent us in the General Assembly as to what is appropriate and what isn't. There are other um, economic opportunities I think in the county where again the county commissioners do not have it in their gift to create jobs but they do have it in their gift to create the situation in which people who do um, have new jobs available want to come to the county. And people will want to come to the county based on their judgment of that county. And the first people that they will encounter in those judgments are its elected officers. And those elected officers need to be forceful and convincing um, ambassadors for the county. There are some other issues which, again, I think county commissioners need to be aware of, although um, their contribution will be by bringing together uh, interested parties rather than simply directing the way in which things should go. But it is the case, I think, that uh, there are some people who live in the county who are not making it as well as the rest of us do. And I think that as county commissioners, we need to be in constant dialogue with um, the social service organisations, law enforcement and education to make sure that we're creating an environment uh, which enables people to achieve their best and we're equipping those people to be able to make that achievement. So that I think is part of the agenda that I think county commissioners ought to be addressing over the next four years. No commissioner can achieve all that on their own. It is going to take uh, the creation of a board of three like-minded individuals or at least individuals who are prepared to openly and, and creatively debate the issues before us uh, to move this county forward. I would like to be one of those commissioners. Thank you for your attention.